Meditation is a balance of alertness and awareness on the one hand and relaxation on the one hand. So both these energies of knowing, focusing and of letting go and relaxing are there along with each other. And that a posture also needs to reflect, which means a posture also needs to be uh, alert, aware, but also at the same time relaxed. So let's see in this video how to get into the right posture for meditation. Now you can meditate either sitting on a chair if that's what you need to do. Typically it is encouraged that you meditate uh, sitting on a cushion on the ground in a cross-legged position. However, if that is not comfortable for you, sitting on a chair and meditating is perfectly all right. So let me just show you what is the correct posture of sitting on a chair, just the basics. There are of course many deeper um, aspects of meditation where you, you know, correct smaller nuances. However, just the most important ones right now. So starting from the feet, the feet are always flat on the ground. They are never lifted like this. They are never unstable because in meditation we also want to be still. So it is very important that the feet feel completely supported by the ground. If your feet do not reach the ground because your chair is higher, choose to put some cushions or some yoga blocks underneath your feet so that you can have flat, the feet are flat. The second important thing is keep the chair which is straight and flat surface, not a sofa which where you know you will plop in or a chair where your knees will go higher than your hips. So I'm just going to turn around to show this to you. As you can see, I'm sitting a little ahead. So if you see the line of my hip and knees, you will notice that the knees are slightly below the hips. This is the line of my hips and my knees are slightly lower. This is correct. If I'm sitting, if I'm putting some uh, support under my feet and the position that becomes is this, then that's not the right position because that's going to engage a few muscles and going to cause tension in the body as well. So knees are always below the hips. And the third thing to remember is your head, neck and your entire trunk are aligned. So again, it's not rigid and you have not opened up your chest and put in your you know, back because that's going to hurt you after some time. Even your lower back is not engaged. Your lower back is so, so relax everything. Relax the lower back, relax the upper back, relax the neck. And then in this relaxed space, slowly come into a straight position. Again, be very mindful of the neck. Sometimes we keep our neck up like that. Sometimes it hangs down like that. Our neck is straight and almost slightly tucked in. But for, for now, head, neck and trunk aligned. This is the right way to sit for meditation if you're sitting on a chair. And if you want to sit and meditate on the ground, then I just want to show you what is the right way to sit and what is the right setup. So, as you can notice, I'm sitting on a cushion and there's a smaller cushion under the seat of my body. Now, this really helps in keeping the back straight and a little upright and keeping the head, neck and trunk aligned. Now, when I sit, I have a few options as to how to keep my legs. I can simply fold them under me and keep, which is the simplest way to begin with, which in yoga we call Sukhasana. Or I can fold my legs one at a time in this way. In this way, what happens is both my knees are down and very steady and still because they're getting supported by my cushion. And I adjust the cushion behind in a way that my back is straight. Now, I am in a comfortable posture that I can hold for some time. Again, the head, neck and trunk are aligned. Your lower back is not engaged. Upper back is not engaged. There is no stiffness. There's no rigidity. It's relaxed. Neck is neither rolling back nor front. It's straight. Now, with regard to your hands, you can either keep them 
uh, fa palm facing up on your lap or you can turn them down and put them on your knees. These are the easiest ways to work with your hands. Some people also uh, say that you can put your hands one on top of the other and keep them together on your uh, thigh or on your lap. That's up to you. But see what works for you. Choose one and then stick to that. Uh, try not to change your position. You know, don't meditate with your palms open one day, close one day. I mean, initially, maybe you need to try, but then get into a position that works for you. Because stillness is a very important part of the practice. And if we keep trying to figure whether this works or that works, sometimes we don't let go and become still. And like I said earlier, letting go is an important part of the practice. So once you have got into position, just simply relax your whole body, rest, and start noticing your breath. So this is how you get into the, a helpful posture or a relaxed posture, at the same time an aware posture for meditation.